Hello friends, in this class now, let's now practically talk about our resolution of more than two vectors. And practically, of course, this will be our word this is seven. That's the last class for vector. Bro, report. This series has just been seven classes, so at least we've learned a lot. I believe you now understand everything about vector. Ensure you are reading the notes as well. Take all the past questions. The more past questions you drink, the more strength you gather. Your strength relation to the amount of past questions you can drink. All the past questions on um, scalar and vector are in my note. Or pen. Are you seeing that? Now, how do we resolve scalar and vectors? Let's say, for example, we're giving this diagram. First, you can see that we have x. First, we have, we have your x and we have your y plane. Now, let me do something of this nature at this bottom part. This is the y. This is the x. Now, this will become my x and that will be x and this will be what y of course it's a negative y from the normal quadrant now practically how do we resolve it we resolve it from the idea of horizontal component and vertical component all the angles are inclined towards to the uh, to the horizontal so we, we 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 check the horizontal we check the horizontal component, I'm going to check the word particular moment. Well, you know that horizontal component is Vs cos theta, Why vertical component is Vy sine word theta. Now, but here, before we do that, we're also going to do something. Remember that this is quadrant. Please take note for this is a quadrant system. Now, and don't forget this in trigonometry. All students take cook. What does it mean? It means that in the first quadrant, all that are sine, cosine, and tan are positive. In the second quadrant, sine is positive, so others are negative. In the, court, in the third quadrant, tan is positive, others are negative. In the fourth quadrant, only cosine is what positive. So all student take we're going to be using them here. So how do we resolve this? First and foremost, for, we'll first of all do the horizontal component, and we do the word, the vertical word component. Now, given the horizontal component, how do we resolve this? Practically, we're going to have this following. For the horizontal, remember it is cos. This is F1 cos theta 1. F1 cos theta 1. Are you seeing that? And in that quadrant, all students, so all of them are positive. Now let's go to the con second quadrant. This is F2 theta 2. F2 theta 2. Now, but look at the second quadrant. What is positive? The only sign is positive. Cos is what negative. So we add the negative. Are you seeing that? F2 cos theta 2. Now, if you come here, this is F3. Theta 3. Remember that we are, the angle must be inclined to the wall to the horizontal. We are checking the angle to the wall horizontal. Now, in this quadrant, what is positive? Only tan is positive. Cos is negative, right? So that's why we have minus here. And you see that? And this will be F4 cos theta. And that's theta 4. Yeah, cos is positive. So we have a positive here. So that's your horizontal word component. You check all the components. We're going to solve past questions. But you check all the components arranged to the wall to the horizontal. Are you following me? Now, let's now do the word the vertical. The same thing. Now, vertical component, you see, become your what? Your y. Now, this will be f1 to sine theta 1. Of course, all students, so that is positive. Now, this is f2 sine theta 2. Now, remember that in the second contract, sine is positive. All students, so sine is what? Positive. So, we have f2 sine theta 2. Now, in the third, third quadrant, it will be f3 theta 3. But remember that only what is positive is tan here. So sine will be what negative. So that's our point minus F3 sine 3. Plus, let's come to the fourth quadrant. That would be F4 theta 4. But in the fourth quadrant, only cos is what positive. So there, that's our put sine to be what negative. Are you seeing that? That's how to resolve. After resolving it, what we get as our x and what we get as our y, we're going to bring it towards to this table. It's now going to give me, I've resolved F of y up of x now i'll find the word the resultant so the resultant practically will become something of this and this will be what's theta of course you can solve this when we have resultant like this right this would practically use us math if we want to balance that balance that right this will be f y this will be fx now we said if you have to perpendicular angle incline what do we use pythagoras to therefore now we come arrow square is equal to f y square plus f x or words well this will be the result and it just, it just have to be the word magnitude what name direction as theta we said for any time you have right uh, two angles inclined to the perpendicular we said our angle will be what tan theta tan theta will become 
this is the angle. What's the opposite? So Y all about what's the adjacent over what X. So please take note of this because we're going to be using this. So this will give me magnitude by this will give one direction. So let's take a past question to portray this. Quickly, let's move. But even find resultant of this. The first thing to do is that I need to bring out all the angles before we solve. Now, the first angle we see here is F1, which is 19. So let's say, let's call this the first F1, let's call this theta. So permit me to draw like a table first before we can solve anything because we need to know their angles. So what's F1? F1 is 19. And what angles? It is inclined to the horizontal. So the angle is what? Is zero degree. Please take note. F1, look at F1. This F1 is at what? Zero degree. Now F, that's 19 Newton. What's now F2? F2 is 15 Newton. And what's the angle inclined to the horizontal? That's 64 degree. Please, are you following me? Hold on a bit. The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awaek. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. The next now is what's F3? F3 is 16 Newton. What's the angle to the horizontal? It is 45 foot degree. Are you seeing that? What do we now have? We now have what? Our list is F1. This is F3. Now what's F4? F4 is your 11 Newton. Is that correct? 11 Newton, what's the angle to the horizontal? Is what? 30 degree. And we now have the last one, which is your what? F5. What's F5? 22 Newton. And what's the angle? That angle there is inclined. We say what? Well, it's 90 degree because you can see practically where the perpendicular angle is forming like this. So this will practically give me what? 90 degree. So we have known the angle now. First, let's find our F of X or we find our what? F of, I will find our F of what? Y. Are you seeing that? So practically our F of X will practically give me that's 19 cos 0. Are you seeing that? Now let's come here. Remember that we said we must always check our quadrant. All students take cook. Now 15, 15, 64, they are in the first corner. So everything there is positive. So it will be plus 15 cos 64 degree. Now, plus, let's see. This F3, what's F3? That 16 is in the second quadrant. And the second quadrant, all this sign is positive. Cos sign is negative. So minus 16 cos 45. Are you seeing that? Plus, now let's now go to this quadrant. Third two is positive. So cosine will be what negative. So that is plus 11 cos 30. Don't forget that that 11 we have negative. Are you seeing that? What's the last one? Plus. So in the fourth quadrant, cosine is positive. That's 22 cos 90. So practically, do that, let's see what we're going to get. So if you press the calculator very well, this will give me what? 4.7 what needs. So let's get for f of y. f of y will give me, that will be 19 sine 0. Now all students, now this is, us. this 15 is in the first quadrant, so it is positive, that's plus 15 sine 64. Now, let's go to this uh, 16, 16 is in the second corner and sine is positive. So that will be plus 16 sine 45. Now, let's go to the third quadrant. Sine is negative. That will be plus bracket upon minus 11 sine 30. 
Are you seeing that? Bracket close. Let's go to this. Sign is negative. That will be plus minus. Bracket open. That's 22. Sign 9. Now, if you do that very well, check. You're going to have minus 2.7 mean. Are you seeing that? So, vertical component is giving us 2 points. Uh, vertical component is giving us minus 2.7 18. Horizontal is giving us 4.7 Now, let's now find the what the resultant. So, to find the resultant now, practically, now, how did that run? Remember that, first of all, this is, if I'm to resolve this, it's going to be practically my horizontal was giving me 4.7 Newton. This is the f of x. Now, the vertical is giving me minus. Minus is it? Or if it up, up is plus y. Y down is negative y. So this will give me neg down because it is what? Minus 2.7 Newton. Are you seeing that? So this is my y. So I'll put it as negative word y. For me, now practically, practically, we can ignite the word, the result, uh, resultant from the word, from the starting body, this will be the word resultant. And we said that if this becomes the resultant, practically, we are going to have that uh, arrow is going to be 2.7 newton even if you say minus 2.7 newton all square plus 4.7 newton all square that will practically give us what arrow will give me 5.42 word newton this is the resultant which is the word magnitude how do we get the direction now practically to get the direction practically we said this is what theta is that correct so we said that if you do that very well or you just fully formula like gave you that stand theta is equal to y over what x is that correct or you use this theta this theta here this becomes the opposite and this becomes the what i put in so that practically become opposite here become 2.7 all over 4.7 so tan theta will give me 0 0.57 Four. So what will now be theta now? And theta is equal to what to tan inverse of 0 0.574. That will practically give me 29.871 degree. Are you seeing that? So that becomes this is the magnitude and this is the word the direction. Is that cool? So very simple now to resolve in vertical and horizontal word company. Do you understand? You can post it, watch it over there. A lot of examples in your notes. Now let's take at least one more passage in Jam 2007 question 34. Now the question practically says that the figure shows four forces three newton, ten newton, three root three newton, six newton acting on a point P. The resultant of the four forces are option A we're given B, we're given C, we're given D, and so on. How do we resolve these forces? First of all, as usual, I would say let's bring out the forces and the angle. Now let's see F and let's call this theta. So let's roll. Now, what is F1? F1 is 3. 3 newton, and what's the angle? 0. What's F2? That's 10 newton. And what is it? That's 30. No matter we're inclined to the horizontal, the next is 3 root 3. And what's the angle there? 90. Hope you know it is 90, right? And we now have your 6 newton, which is equal to what? 60 word degree. First of all, we're going to find, so there's First of all, draw this so that we know what we're working with. We know what we're working with. Right. Let's demarcate them so we'll not get confused. Now, first of all, let's get our f of x. Now, f of x. First of all, let's also draw our all student think cook. Now, f of x will now give me that 3 cost 0 plus 10 cost cos 30 now what again what are we giving we are giving uh, 3 root 3 3 root 3 if you watch is in the second quadrant and sign is only sign that is positive cosine is negative that will be plus bracket of minus 3 root 3 cos 90 now look at the fourth corner only time is possible so cos will be negative that's plus bracket minus six cos six now if you do that very well press the calculator i think you're going to get 8.6 newton 8.66 6 
new thing. And it puts this new thing is the same thing as saying five root three new t. Confirm that. So let's do for f of y. f of y will practically give me, uh, that will give me three sine zero now plus 10 sine 30. Now, sine is posting the second contract, so that will be plus 3 root 3 sine 90. Are you seeing that? Plus, what's the last force? Now, that's tan. That will be bracket the moon negative 6 sine 60. And if you do that very well, you're going to get, mm, that will be 5 Newton. Are you seeing that? Now, because this 5 Newton, practically, let's use this part of the board. We can get the resultant. What will become the resultant? The resultant will be something of this nature. That will give me 5 root 3, which is the f of x. And that will give me 5 Newton. So this will become the word resultant. Is that correct? So if we get that very well, okay, let's move to the next page. So practically that will give me, let's rule this way. So we got our f of x to be 5 root 3. And we got here to be what? 5 newton. So this is the f of y. So practically this will be our result. And this Pythagoras to me, that will be r squared is equal to 5 squared plus 5 root 3 r squared. So practically r squared will give us 25 plus this square will be 25 times 3 which will give me 25 plus 75. That will give me what? 100. So what will now be R now? R will be equal to square root of 100, which will be equal to what? To 10 units. So that becomes the word resultant. 10 units. Only you can calculate the direction. The D ask us for direction. Direction will give me tan Y all over X. That will give me tan 5 Newton all over 5 root 3. Are you seeing that only you can get for theta, but we are not asked for that. Are you with me? So practically now, our size, our size is 10 newton. Let's go back to the question. Let's see if it is what 10 newton. Making option A to become the word answer. Do you understand? Very, very cheap. Go to the note, solve more questions on it, more questions and so on and so forth. Practically, this brings us to the end of everything about your scalar and your word vector. You know what? Congratulations. You have finished chapter two. Everything about chapter two done. Please go to the notes. Really, the notes. Solve more past questions. Let your hand be strong. And Stimitia is there as well. I will now see you in our third topic. I hope you are set for me. I'll see you in the next topic. Well, for now, peace out. I hope you enjoyed the class. We are done with this. Let's move. This year, you want to join the 350 gang. I'll see you in the next class. Peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.